So this is the baby artichoke. Some people think that it's a separate plant, seven or species, but it's actually the same plant. The main artichoke grows just like with any other tree. When you plant, you have the, these little offsprings. They used to be just snapped and discarded, but these are glorious. Um, so you pick them and you save them. You let the main artichoke grow and this is what you get. What do I do here to jar them? I remove some of uh, the outer leaves. Artichokes is not a vegetable. Artichoke is a flower. If you let it grow, it will open up. My, my aunt is a florist, exotic florist, and she makes these baskets. The artichokes, if you let it flower, it will get all open up with a little purple and yellow and reddish. It's gorgeous. Uh, with this, at this stage, this you can also eat this part. You know, this is too tough, but this part, it's actually very edible if you have the patience. Or you can make an infusion might be bitter you can put some honey in there it's a super liver cleaner it's it's good for the organism and or you can just eat that so then i go at an angle some people just cut down but you waste a lot of the good stuff so i just go like this turn around until i get this i cut the very tip off, here we go. Then I trim the bottom. And um, you get all the best of the best of the artichokes. You, you might think that is waste, but you wanna eat the good stuff, you don't wanna eat. And fortunate enough, I'm in Italy right now and these are very inexpensive. Um, in the States, around Christmas time, we pay like $5 for one artichoke, you know, the full size. Anyway, this is what we get. At this point, I just marinate them for a few hours or overnight if you have uh, time to plant with some lemon. And these are actually, were done last night. These I just did now. And you can see it's all the same with these rosy tips. And then we're gonna boil them in a solution of uh, water and, and the sea salt with the uh, white wine vinegar for like very, very short time. Let it cool down. And then um, I'm gonna show you what to do to jar them. So at this point, um, after we marinate them with the water and uh, citrus, we have that. These have been overnight in the lemony uh, water. I cut it straight in the half. And this is what we get. I'm very fortunate, I'm in Italy and these are very available right now, not even expensive. So this is the time where you want to jar them and have them only around. So as much as you can, just do it. And uh, if you have this little, the beard, the choke, that's why it's called artichoke, because this, it's not very, uh, you know, it chokes you if you get this little beard, what they call it. So I go under that and I take that out. And uh, this don't really have much. So this is our artichoke heart. It's ready to be for the next step. See you there. So what I did here is a solution of uh, two to one uh, water, tap water, depending on where you live. I, uh, I used a uh, spring water that I bought. It's very fairly inexpensive for a project like this, I would suggest. 
and uh, so two to one white wine vinegar one to two parts water we as we said we marinated our uh, artichokes mini artichokes in halves with uh, lemon and i'm going to put them in here now this is a very fairly quick process we don't you don't want to overcook them you don't want like mushy you want still have the crunch into them and i'm gonna leave few because i have um, a little other project for myself actually later on so i believe uh yeah this is it i'm going to let them come to temperature and boil them for about five to seven minutes depending on what you're trying to achieve i like them crunchy i want if i i make a bed of uh, fresh buffalo mozzarella which now in in, in italy um i mean sorrento but in italy in general uh, also comes in um, a lactose free so for everybody has a problem with milk or whatever you can enjoy the mozzarella the buffalo mozzarella and etc without having problem so uh with the, with the lactose um i find myself to be very even if you don't have it's a lot easier to digest so we're going to bring that to a boil and um So we're going to bring them to a boil and I see you in a second for what do we do next. I'm going to bring them to a boil, wait a few minutes and I'll show you what's next. At this point, we're going to turn the fire off. We're going to fish them out. They very crunchy al dente but they had they um they got their uh, vinegar boiling um, taste i'm gonna drain them into this vessel some of the little ones like this one i didn't even split in half because i remember my grandfather used to uh, make this for me oh i mean he used to make this for everybody but for me it was like he made it for me of course but in reality he made it for the family but i thought it was making for me so i get them out of the solution do not rinse them we're gonna let them cool down and then we go to the next process we are going to put them face down because you know there might be liquid inside the leaves so we're going to put them face down and try to get as much of the moisture out on uh, some absorbing paper i'm using uh, without saying any brand we are going to use some absorbing paper. There we go. And that's that. And at this point, I think I'm going to cover them with another layer of paper absorbing paper that is i'm gonna let them stand because we're gonna jar them in oil oil and water as everybody knows 
repel each other. So I'm gonna get as much of the moisture out. And then as, you know, wait a little bit and then we jar it. So time to put them in the jar. First of all, the jar was sterilized. We boil it for, in, in we put it in boiling water for 10 minutes at a very high temperature. So everything, remember when you boil the jar to remove the gasket because that would get ruined. And uh, just the glass and the, all the parts are sterilized. Now we're gonna start getting our artichokes in there. There we go. I'm gonna do not, do not put any spices or anything. If you actually, if you like some um, hot, something hot, like uh, let's say you wanna get some pepperoncino, I get some of this. These are grown right here in my garden. I split them in half. I, I, I actually like it, but it's not a mandatory. So just like that, you don't have to do anything else. Then I put some oil. Make sure that there are no bubbles, nothing. There we go. Make sure you have some of that beautiful pepper. Look at that. Oh yeah. And this we don't have to refrigerate. Remember, refrigeration will spoil actually this because this is a process of pickling. So you do not need refrigeration. Put a little more oil. My son, you know, it, it you know it looks like there is a lot of oil, but at the end of when everything is done, the oil is going to be flavored with artichokes and pepper and all these spices. And you can make spaghetti aglio olio or just use it for other cook, cooking. Um, look at that. All right, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go there. We're gonna put oil. You need to be above the line of um, the actual. There we go. We're gonna move, make sure there are no bubbles in there. We're going to close it and let it sit. Look at this. And bon appetito. Another gift from my kitchen to your table from Ask Chef Tony.